Today I present to you Cheats for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This table will do pretty much everything you could want and even a few things you didn't know you wanted. Stick around. Guess who's back? Back again. In our line of work, accidents happen. Before they happen to you, back up your save. You've been warned. We'll begin by attaching Cheat Engine to the emulator. The first set of cheats are for use in battle. Let's walk through the cheats in this section and I'll show you what each of them do. Here we can set Link's current health and health containers. We can use the Super Move Gauge cheat to fill up Link's super meter. The Super Move Capacity cheat specifies how many super meter containers Link has. The Activate Super Meter cheat will fill your meter and make it ready to use. You can edit enemy KOs here. Here we have the current health of many of the enemies and allies loaded into memory. This list may not include everyone's current health, but it captures a large set of them. If you don't want to modify these individually, that brings me to my next cheat, exclusive for my Patreon supporters, One Hit Kill. This cheat gives your main character infinite health and sets all enemy health to zero, so it only takes one hit to kill them. Small side effect is the soldiers also die in one hit. Here we can control Link's coordinates. We can use these to basically warp anywhere on the map we want. That covers most of the in-battle features, but where this cheat table is really powerful is in the stats and inventory menus. We can modify our rupees. Here we can modify the EXP of any of our unlocked characters. As it explains here, after we set this, we'll need to actually go into a battle and kill an enemy for it to recalculate our EXP and make it active. The materials cheats require two things, unlocking materials and setting their quantity. For example, let's unlock the palm fruit and the hydro melon. To do that, we'll set each of those values to 1. Then we'll come over to the materials quantity area and set a quantity for each of those items.
as you can see, there are a ton of materials here, so you should be pretty well taken care of in the materials department. Weapon Editor Under Weapon ID, we can open the drop-down list and swap any weapon in our inventory for any other weapon in the game. We can expand the options for that weapon by activating it. Here we can modify all of the attributes for that weapon. I'll walk you through each. First we'll set our weapon EXP and weapon level. The higher our weapon level, the more seals we'll be able to apply to our weapon. Weapon Seals 1 through 5 contains a drop down list with all of the seals for all of the weapons. Just double click it and select whichever one you want. For any seals you apply that have a multiplier or percentage attribute, we can set those under Weapon Seal Scaling. That brings me to another exclusive feature for my Patreon supporters, Character Unlocks. Here we can unlock any character in the entire game. To unlock a character, we'll just set a value of 1 next to each character. After we unlock a character, we'll have to set their health, give them a weapon, and an armor. Otherwise their model will not show up. We'll use Zelda as an example. First we'll set a 1 next to her name to unlock her. Then we'll give her a weapon. Next we'll give her an armor. Finally, we'll raise her health. And Zelda is ready for battle. You might be wondering, but Posty, if you can select from all of the weapons in the game, does that mean you can give any weapon to any character? Yes, it does. Check this out. Let's see what happens if we try to give Princess Zelda the Master Sword. Other than a few minor graphical glitches, it works. And I'll be honest, some of these are abominations, but that's part of the fun of it. You'll have to try each weapon with each character and see what happens. You might notice that Princess Zelda is standing a little differently than she normally does. This is another side effect. When we give a weapon to a character that's not supposed to have it, they also inherit the movements of the character the weapon actually belongs to. Here's another example where I give Link Impa's weapon.
They'll even inherit their super moves. Now if you don't want to spend the time to unlock individual characters and get them set up, we have a cheat here that will do all that for you. Just click it, it'll unlock all the characters and give them everything they need. And that'll do it for this Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity cheat table demo. Shout out to Carlos M on my Discord for the tremendous amount of work he put into bringing these features to us. Thank you. If you're seeing this video, it means the cheat table is live on my Discord. Head over there and grab it. If you're a Patreon supporter, I'll include this with the extra features in a post as well as the Patreon area of my Discord. Thanks for watching.